Hey there, it's Tia here again, and today I'm going to be talking about a controversial issue when it comes to college life, and that is community bathrooms. Um, I don't know if you call them community bathrooms, but basically I'm referring to bathrooms that you share with your hall or maybe your suite. So you're going to be sharing them with a bunch of strangers, basically. I know a lot of people in high school get concerned about, oh my god, what's it like to share a bathroom with people you don't know, like what if they mess it up or whatever. So I'm going to just tell you some things I've learned over the past semester and a half about sharing bathrooms with strangers who have become my friends, more or less. First things first, just know that when you're gonna go take a shower, wear shower shoes. Um, hopefully someone's already told you this. Shower shoes basically are just shoes that you only wear to the shower, that you don't really like wear anywhere else. And um, the whole point is you just don't want to like touch the ground in the shower. Not because it like looks gross, but because like maybe there are germs from other people, like I don't know. But then if you wear shower shoes, you should be fine. So make sure you do that. You wear them while you're showering. Don't take them off. Like they're on your feet all the time, all the time. Except for when you're like in your room and then you're fine, okay? Just want to make sure you know that because um, let's just say I noticed some people who didn't know that. Moving on to the next thing, uh, passive-aggressive sticky notes are your best friend. So, for example, if someone does something really annoying in the bathroom, let's say they like leave their hair everywhere. So if someone does that and you don't know who it is because everyone has black hair, everyone has blonde hair, and you're just like, I don't know, it could be anyone, then just leave a passive-aggressive sticky note that says, hey, please stop leaving your hair everywhere, it's really gross, thank you, or something, because I've done that, and it worked, so <laughs> I have no idea who it was, but they stopped leaving their hair everywhere, so that's great. Um, I feel like it's more of a problem with girls, but um, you never know. There are a bunch of different problems. I like, could go on, maybe they like leave the toothpaste in the sink, which like, just don't do that. So that kind of brings me to the next point of don't leave your hair everywhere, <laughs> okay? Like, wash it down the drain, or like throw it in the trash can or something. Just don't leave it everywhere, because no one wants to see that, okay? No one wants to go into a shower and it's like, <laughs> your hair is like everywhere. <laughs> it's like, why? Why would you do that? And then that kind of ties into the next thing as well, which is clean up after yourself. You don't have to be like scrubbing like the floors or anything, but like if you are trying to like get toothpaste on your toothbrush or something and it like falls in the sink, don't just let it sit there for eternity. Like wash it away really fast so that it doesn't like get stuck there and then everyone has to like look at it all week. Like, why? Don't do that. Also, if you go into the bathroom and you see that it's out of toilet paper, it's always nice to like leave a little sticky note or something like on the door on the outside that says like there's no toilet paper right now so that people don't go in there and like have their lives ruined. Unless you hate everyone. And then go ahead and just ruin everyone's lives. It's fine. It's fine. Lastly, one of the things that I was surprised by was that I don't really ever run into anyone in the bathroom. Like, it's pretty rare that I do. Everyone's kind of on different schedules, so when I get up in the morning to, like, brush my teeth, wash my face and stuff, like, no one's there. So there aren't as many awkward moments as you may think there'd be, and also, you don't have to worry. Like, we only have two showers, but um, I've never, I've, maybe, like, once I've had to, like, wait because both there are two people using them but like really that never happens so it's not really a concern at all as long as you just clean up after yourself I think everything's fine and be nice to each other write passive aggressive sticky notes and all of your problems will be solved so I hope that makes you a little less afraid of the unknown that is the community shared bathroom but don't worry it'll be fine and I will see you guys in the next video see you out